So I'll ask uh, Julianne Gentry from the Green Party to address you now. Tanakoto, Tanakoto, Tanatato, Katoa. It's so amazing to be here tonight to see this great turnout at the first public meeting. And it is slightly ironic that the positioning statement delivered by the Green Party tonight will be with an American accent. <laughs> I apologize. I apologize for <clears throat> the poor quality of the television programming that comes from the country that I also come from. But in the United States, they also do have public broadcasting. And in fact, in every OECD country, um, you know, except Mexico, New Zealand will be, with the closure of television, of TV7, uh, one of the only countries in the OECD that doesn't have publicly funded broadcasting. And it is so, so important. And the Green Party have long been champions of public broadcasting because we know that it serves such an important role. Now, firstly, there's this important cultural, social role, which is that entertainment is something that is core to human culture. And it's how we share our values, we share the laughter and the tears. And that may all sound very touchy-feely, but it's in the Green Party policy. It's important. It's important. When we look back at history, the greatest art was not the, the st that we treasure today, the greatest art, the greatest architecture, the greatest plays, were not delivered based on narrow commercial interests. So in the future, it's going to be, it would be absolutely tragic if we lost to that. But secondly, it serves an incredibly important and essential political role, and that is that to have a healthy, functioning democracy, we need informed, robust, independent media, and that has to be available. And what we're seeing more and more worldwide is that there's an absolute consolidation of media control, by, by, and now it's just a few big corporations that are controlling most of the media content that's available. And that's dangerous. And that's particularly dangerous when we're facing a number of challenges. And it is the vested interests who've benefited from the status quo who are going to end up looking to protect their interests by determining what sort of information is available for people to access. And a vigorous public broadcasting service provides both of those things. It provides entertainment, it provides enlightening programming, and it stimulates participation in democracy. And I've been it's been really amazing to see in the short amount of time that TV7 has been on the air, how it has developed an audience, it has developed this fantastic show, which is one of my absolute favorites, which is Backbenches. And it's gotten up to 1.4 million viewers a month, which you heard from Claire. And the Green Party absolutely welcomes Claire's members bill, and we would support it 100% if it's pulled from the ballot. So as TV1 and TV2 are becoming increasingly commercialized, what we're finding is that there's less local content, there's less programming, and we're going to lose the opportunity, another economic opportunity, to support high value, low volume product, which is television programming. And that's something that we can nurture all of the incredible creative talent that exists here in New Zealand. We can be proud of it and we can support it because every successful industry that is an export industry in New Zealand has government support. So we have basically a win-win-win. We have a cultural win, we have a win for democracy, and we have an opportunity, an economic opportunity that we could absolutely nurture. So what, what I hope is that even though tonight we may be looking at the death, we be, we're preparing to mourn for the death of TV7, what, what the Green Party would like to see out of this is hopefully an opportunity through these public meetings, through the participation, for the birth of something even better. If we can't save TV7, perhaps in the next, we can get a change of government, and then we can have something even better, which is, as Claire said, a sustainably funded 
real, true public broadcaster like they have in Australia, like they have in the UK. And that is going to be extremely important going forward. And one final point, which is slightly off topic, I thought I should share with you that um, I did bring some uh, petitions here tonight, which are at the back table. So I'm sure you've all signed the petition to save TV7. But if you'd also like to sign a petition uh, for, to have a citizens initiated referendum on asset sales, that's also back there if you're a registered voter um, and you'd like to see a referendum. What, what I think is fantastic about some of the incredibly poor policies we're seeing coming out of the current government is a real desire to participate, so it's the real invigoration of civic participation, and hopefully we can see something much better come for that from, from our participation. Thank you so much for coming tonight, and thanks for inviting me.